once again, Obwasi Senior Technical High School retains the title of the Sci-Tech The climax of the three-day Science Technology Innovation Challenge at the National Theatre saw exhibitors from different schools, including basic school students, showcasing scientific solutions to real-time Ghanaian problems. This included the building of a prototype solar-powered dialysis machine from Obwasi Senior High Technical School. Please, we heard of the dialysis treatment situation in, in Kolebu Hospital, and then we got to know how dialysis treatment is very costly in our country. So we decided to create an, um, an affordable dialysis solution using locally sourced material so that the cost of production will come down. The innovation challenge taxed each participating school with a rigorous nine-hour deadline to design groundbreaking solutions to pressing agricultural challenges. From all inspiring science and technology projects emerged one clear winner, Obwasi Senior High Technical School. Their revolutionary Osikeni Farm solution, a solar-powered agrarian system, stood out for its ingenuity, practicality, and potential to transform small-scale farming, earning them the top spot yet again. Congratulations, guys. Thank you so much. How is the feeling like? Proud. What influenced the decision to come up with Osikeni Farm Solutions? Well, um, looking at System Ghana here, most farmers um, complain about weeding. Some also complain about the effect they get from using the chemicals and also the transportation fare from transporting their crops from their farmland to their various homes. So we're like, why not develop a device that can solve all these problems? And we developed the Osikeni Farm Solution which can do all these things, including detecting the weather of the weather, sorry, detecting the weather of the farmland. Our Lady of Grace SHS secured second place, earning 15,000 cities, while the Ghana National College came in third and earned a prize of 10,000 Ghana cities. Managing Director of Prime Time, Nana Kuya Men Sabunsu, emphasized the challenge is to inspire students to come up with local solutions to Ghanaian problems. Technology drives everything. Technology drives everything in this world. And you cannot develop unless you can localize the technology to, so, to sort out or to resolve problems, local problems that you have. And she also called for support to commercialize these innovations, turning student ideas into impactful solutions. We definitely need support. We definitely need support. Our, our side is to unearth the talents and showcase them to the world. But we are not specialists in patenting or in engineering. So we do need collaboration from other quarters to be able to take it to the next step. Collins from Pons report for Joy News.